66 sharks have been caught by baited drum lines off the WA coast. The Barnett government today revealed the results of its controversial catch and kill policy, declaring it a success. But no great whites have been caught, and protesters of furious undersized sharks have died. A tiger shark less than three metres released alive off Trick Beach this morning. Today, the government released the official numbers since baiting began on January 25. 66 sharks have been caught, the biggest four metres, killed off Bunker Bay where Carl Burden died. His mother is against the hunt. I think that's a legacy Carl would be proud of. 17 sharks bigger than three metres were hooked, then shot and killed, some off Perth beaches, including Leighton, Scarborough and Mullaloo. Others were undersized, most of them released, but nine were found already dead on baited drum lines. None were great whites, mostly tigers. Tiger sharks are aggressive. The biggest catches were recorded in the southwest, Castle Rock, Rocky Point, Eagle Bay and Old Dunsborough, where a private contractor is being paid five and a half thousand dollars a day. Well, what do you value somebody's life for? The government says these figures prove big sharks are a threat off our coast and action was necessary, but these protesters claim drum lines might actually be attracting sharks closer to shore. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that a fish will swim to where the bait is. The Premier was jeered. Can you please remove that person? But was unrepentant. The government intends this, this uh, program will run through next summer. Jessica Vander 7 News.